in your hometown. So I've been at a TEDx stage in Germany, outside India, but to be here to do it in India is a great feeling that I can't explain. So thanks for this opportunity. So what sort of choices that we make every single day? Hmm? Either to wake up or to hit the snooze button, right? That is how our day starts. We take more than 100 choices per day, deciding on what to wear, what to eat, or what to do next, right? And as a South Indian kid, my parents gave me two choices, become an engineer or become a doctor. This is what most of you might have come across, right? But that's how we are dealing with choices, fortunately or unfortunately. In my opinion, I would suggest you to not take the pressure of making choices. So don't get the pressure to you. That should be vital. So you shouldn't take the pressure to you. And it is all about taking right choices as well, right? So should I make a pause or, yeah. So taking, uh, talking about choices and taking a chance. So these things are different, right? I would say taking a chance takes a lot of courage. It requires immense courage. Let me give you a couple of examples why I say that. Let's imagine a case where you like someone, right? How do you express that? You just have to express it out, right? Some day or the other, you just have to go out there and get it out. Only if you take a chance, either he or she might be by your side in the near future. Otherwise, it's not the end, bro. You still have to go to the drawing board and look at the other options that you have, right? And being a change, that is what the society isn't easily accept or they won't encourage in the long run. That is how we have been brought up, right? So let's say a guy or a girl coming from a typical South Indian family, like I said, we, we don't have luxurious options of becoming an entrepreneur. Everybody gets limited options where we try to excel in, right? And let, let me try to link my story a little bit here. When I've been uh, you know, on TEDx before, so I felt now is the right time where I tell you a flavor of who I am and what's my little background, where I made the right choices, and what chances did I take to be here today in front of you. Hmm? So, the choices that I made, sorry, my parents made, was to make myself an engineer in the first place, right? So I became an engineer, went to Germany. So I am from a, a village called Tirku Achambati, South Achambati, that is near Sangaran Kovil in Tirunel Valley. Why I say this name is, most of us here just start blaming situations or uh, take things for granted. We just point fingers towards things that doesn't go in our way. That is how most of us do, right? You should agree with me here. But a guy 
who is coming from such a small village and a police dad and a teacher mom i'm i'm not a super rich by birth right so going to germany the first task that was assigned to me was to just get printouts of papers and projects and just to submit on a table so the reason why i say this is so from there i stood tall took all the chances that came in my way and became one of the top 40 inspiring data scientists in the world right now so sometimes you need to grab opportunities that come your way that is where most of us fail to do i just recently had a girl baby in year she is 5 months and i stepped into entrepreneurship exactly same as inia so i am just raising two babies now <laughs> and to do that it takes courage like i said one should be in a position to just shut off everything that is running behind you or besides you that is only when you tend to focus on what you want to achieve right so please make good choices that can take you to places rather than complaining about things that didn't go your way here in india people always complain about the hierarchies or the the barriers that that has been put in front of us like you can name it caste creed religion or whatever you name it you have it in india right but there in germany it is still there but in different ways like with the color of who you are which race are you from are you an asian are you an asian founder okay then just wait wait for the funding it life isn't so easy people always think that if this is a pattern i just follow it most of us have a plan a if plan a fails we are clueless this is what happens to most of us we should always weigh the pros and cons that is the art of making choices and taking the right chance only if you plan for different possibilities let's say your plan a might fail if you turn towards plan b it could even fail you should be ready with plan a to plan z in my opinion swot will make you much more robust along the lives and talking about being a change the society isn't like the changes that you are making right at the beginning they'll always ask why i had a lot of why's when i quit my high paying job at germany people ask me why why vijay why did you do that and why now that is a question i mean they always add this now to whatever situations that you come across they always ask why now okay you asked me the same question last month you are you again asking me the same question next year but you still carry that now then what is the right time that i should do something if i have to give back to the society what a person should do is there someone who determines the price and place that you have to do something definitely not it has to be you there are a lot of speakers that already spoke about bringing change from you that will create an impact in the society so it has to come from you and not anybody else and stop complaining and start performing that is the mantra that 
I would like you to carry forward from here. If you ask me what are the key takeaways that I can get from Vijay's talk, I would say just stop performing and stay consistent. Only if you are consistent, you can start seeing the results. I mean, people want results in a, in a very quick manner. I mean, I understand that most of you guys are into 2K, 2K kids, uh, we call it. But results don't come that way. You have to be consistent. You have to do it in and out in order to get a result. And stop comparing people and stop comparing people with whom you hate. The world is not enough for love. So please don't worry about people who hates you, right? And with that, I would like to say, make better choices, take chances whenever needed, and bring change that would uplift the society. Don't just think about yourself. It should be the change the society needs and not just you. Anakkam, thanks for serving this chance. I hope you will make a change.